Red Feather from Grepax. In this Creta video, we will be showing you the different vector tools and points. Notice the beginning of this video. The upper and lower text were created using the Krita Bizarre Curve tool. The center text was created utilizing the Krita Text tool. This in itself took some time and patience in order to get what I was looking for. Although it was all created within one setting. So let's get started. Open Krita, create a new canvas. One of the most important tools is the vector layer itself. Although, as you may know already, some of the tools function on all layers. Go to the Krita layers at the Add layer, click the drop down menu, and scroll down to Vector layer and click. We will be starting with the Krita line tool. Go to the Krita toolbox and click on the line tool. And then go to your Krita canvas, clicking and dragging your mouse to the full extent you would like your line. Also notice, while dragging your Krita line, the tool illuminates a preview of the line, giving the ability to determine the end and or angle you would like. After placing our Krita line, we can now move to the second most important Krita vector tool, the Edit Shapes tool. This tool accommodates all of the vector tools by showing their points. In this version of Krita, after clicking the Edit Shape tool on the canvas, clicking upon the line will cause the points to appear. In earlier versions, they may appear automatically. Once the points appear, it is time to click on the third most important tool. The Krita Tools and Options. Also take note that if you grab one of the points, you can then adjust the line size and angle. Having the point highlighted, notice in the Krita Tools and Options. Some of the function buttons have turned blue while some are still grayed out. Each Krita tool may vary in accordance to point style and allowance and or functionality. And by examining these functions, this can help determine the best tools needed per or in conjunction of a project. Notice after changing the style of the points, I now have a single outer point. With this single outer point, I can then manipulate the Krita point, adding curves to my line. Also take note, we can now merge the points within our Krita line giving us a whole new perspective, if you will. Also, by just clicking on the line in the tools and options, we can add or remove a point. Also, after some moving around and manipulation, finding both of the credit endpoints, we can highlight them and then merge them together. Now, grabbing the one outer point, 
I can manipulate my Krita Creative Design into the letter D. Once this is done, utilizing any of the vector tools in the Krita Toolbox, clicking on the Select Shape tool allows you to move, resize, or rotate the shape you are working with. Now, let us move to our next vector tool. Go to the Credit Toolbox and click on the Rectangular Tool. Go to your canvas, drawing the size rectangular you desire. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the Toolbox, clicking once again on the Edit Shape Tool. Go back to the Krita Canvas, clicking the line of the rectangular so as to show the point. Notice, once I grab the Krita point and start dragging, another point appears. Notice, if I continue to drag, it will turn it into a circle. These Krita points are very limited, as you can see, and cannot even be highlighted. Therefore, other than dragging, they may not be manipulated past their boundaries. Next, in the Krita Toolbox, click on the Ellipse Tool. Go to the canvas, drawing the size ellipse you desire. Then once again, in the toolbox, clicking the Edit Shapes tool, and then clicking the line of the ellipse. So as the points appear. As with the rectangular tool, the ellipse tool is limited, although it does have a few more available options within the Krita options and tools and has the capability to separate. In the Krita options and tools, if you have opened the ellipse, there is an option to close the ellipse automatically, as well as a drop down menu containing different styles such as arc, pi, and chord. Moving along to the next Krita tool, the Polygon tool. Once clicking on the Polygon tool in the toolbox, go to the canvas and click. Moving your mouse, Anywhere on the canvas, the preview line will follow. Clicking again, a new segment of the line begins. With the preview line to follow, a double click ends the segment. Notice, once one end of the polygon meets the other and a circle appears, indicating a connective area on the Krita canvas. Once you are done drawing your Krita polygon shape or shapes, once again return to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the Edit Shape tool, then go to the canvas, clicking on the polygon line you wish to work with. Once the points appear, click on the Tools and Options, now notice, as I change this Krita point to a symmetric point, I now have two outer points, as well as a curved formation. Notice these two outer points work in conjunction with one another. Changing the next Krita point 
and removing a point and some minor manipulation as you see we have formed this heart next is the polyline tool this works similar in nature to the polygon tool but notice this time I have changed the credit point to a curved point this allows the outer points to work independently. Next, the Bizarre Curve Tool. One click on the canvas puts a point on the canvas. Going straight away draws the length of the line. Veering left or right places a curve. Continuing to move your mouse continues the segment as you can see with the preview line and double clicking ends the segment in the credit toolbox click on the edit shape tool then click on the line on the canvas then on the credit canvas move and manipulate your line into a shape you desire removing and or adding changing points as needed next is the Krita freehand tool on the canvas start drawing your desired shape once you have once you stop go to the Krita toolbox clicking on the edit shapes tool so as the points will show do any manipulation needed to achieve your end goal we are going to rotate ours using the Krita Select Shape tool. Next, for the vector tools, is the calligraphy tool. As you will notice on our Krita canvas and in the tools and options, while utilizing the Edit Shape tool, the calligraphy tool has limited point functionality but as you can see moving and or changing the color with each new calligraphy line is very nice on the Krita canvas i hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion and if so then why not Give this video a like. And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abeyu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.